I thought you to be. I thought you to be in WeWork. It doesn't look like you're in WeWork. <laughs> yeah. Um, I switched it up and whatnot because. I was like, yeah, fuck it. I was like, if I don't got to beat it, I'm not going. Yeah, I slept the fuck in, okay? No, I respect that. I Love. definitely respect that. Love. Y'all going out tonight? Yo, that's my plan. I definitely plan to. I think so. Wait, where, where y'all going? Where y'all going? One of my friends just hit me. They're doing something in a loft in Brooklyn. Let's see what that's about. Ooh, we in Williamsburg? Oh, I'll tell y'all right now. Hold on. Let's see, where's Franklin at? Franklin Ave is what? Oh, that's uh, Crown Heights. There we go. So that's where I'll be at. That my little friend invited me to something in Williamsburg. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, Y'all got costumes, though? Because cause, um, my costume game is not fire at all. At me either. All. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm popping it down to uh, Party City when we're done and popping in some fangs and call it a day. Come on, fangs. That's a Fendi. That is <laughs> so black. Things. I'm gonna buy me a cap and some fangs. Come on, <laughs> a cape and some fangs. That's right. Yeah, I um, I also don't like. I'm just gonna pull something out of my closet. I I honestly am probably going to end up being a leopard. I will pull out my leopard. I have too many <laughs> leopard, too much leopard attire, and I'll probably <laughs> do a leopard beat and then call it a night. Um, yeah. And be fucking Black Leopard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's fucking do this. Let's go. Uh, you can start us off, Travis. Mm. Are we rolling? In? Oh, your ass is right there. <laughs> Girl, what's going on? It's the kid, Travis Dimitri. What's good, everyone? It's the conductor of the train, your boy DJ SJ614, and we are the New York Dose. Hey. What's going on, guys? Alex Rose, how y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Hey. <laughs> Come on, Rose. I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's so, a nice stage name. The objective Appreciate of season four is to bring awareness to national monthly observances and highlight how they affect us. Today's observance is National Pizza Month. This observance began in October 1984, created by Jerry Durnell, the publisher of Pizza Today magazine. Uh, there's different ways that people observe National Pizza Month, including but not limited to consuming different types of pizzas or pizza slices. Some of the pizzerias themselves during the month, they give away free pizzas or slices to customers, or they offer reduced price promotions. Um, some pizza restaurants will host like fundraising drives and donate, donate the proceeds to pizza sales to benefit different, different organizations and charities and blah, blah, blah. Um, we'll dive deeper into our observance later, but in typical New York Dose fashion, we have to get through the brilliance, the idiocy, and the spirituality of our show first. So we're going to head over to the first area of season four, which is the park. Prospect, Central Bryant, whatever park you live near, that's the one we at, and we are gathered here <laughs> like a couple of old men to casually converse uh, uh. about the week we've had. The segment like in that. this section is Empire State of <clears throat> Mind. This is where we showcase our transparency. During this segment, we like to make sure we're good, talk about what's lit in New York City, confess something that dead ass blew our minds this week, and shout some people out if they deserve it. So we're going to start off with Travis so that uh, you, Alex, can just think about how your week was or anything you might want to say. And uh, yeah, uh, the kid, jump us off. What's good? Yo, you yeah. know the vibes. My week was, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do too much this weekend. I was a little, I was a little lazy because I could do that. I felt like I could do that. I'm doing a lot right now. Mm -hmm. However, I, I've been noticing, I've been having just like casual conversations with just different people, just going through our life. And I've been noticing that there's a lot of damaged people out here. Okay. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that got goals, but they're not, they, they're not really doing anything with the goals. Yeah. Like That's I met fact. someone, oh, I know someone, uh, an acquaintance or whatever you want to call it. And you know, he was telling me how he like, he wants to write a book. Okay. And then I was like, okay, you know, everybody got an idea. Everybody got an idea. Everybody thinks they're fucking activists and they got ideas and they think so they're so brilliant, <laughs> whatever. He wants to write a book and I was like, okay, like, what would your book be about? You know, yeah. it's a common question. I don't know. What genre would the book be? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, so what are you doing? What are you telling me for? 
Right, so, right. Know, write a book. So I'm like, you know, trying to help him out, you know, because I, I, I try to help out with what I do. And mm-hmm, I was like, mm-hmm. hey, you know, just like look up. No, all you, all you got to do is look up, like the process of, of creating a book, you know? And I was like, you don't even have to, like you don't need that much money to, to produce a book because now there's eBooks. Right. So you don't have to like, right. get, you know, publishing all that shit. And it's like, you know, it's like, you would think it's common sense. Oh, you would think that people could just look up what you're asking someone. And it's like, but the things I was telling him, it was like, he, it was like, you would have thought it was Albert Einstein. <laughs> so I don't know if it's a lack of motivation or just people are just clueless. I think I don't know what it or drugs. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but um, I think that's like you could look up anything nowadays. So literally a- a- anything, like yeah. So the the, the Google search. I'm just tired of people just having these I, these ideas. Yeah, and no way to back it up. Yeah, no, the Google search mm-hmm. is very easy to do, and people are not uh, doing it. So I, I understand you. You got to do your Googles, folks. You got to do your Googles. Um, yeah. I was like, have you ever wrote? Like, have you ever written before? Yeah. No. I'm like, bitch, write, write a paragraph. <laughs> and then you can start talking about writing a book. Right, right. It's That's the facts. It's that the is a whole fact. Anyway, I Alex. Who's that? <laughs> Alex, how was you? Let me tight. My week was good. My week was definitely good. I mean, I did a whole lot of pumpkin shit today. Not today, but this week, I went to a pumpkin patch. I went pumpkin carving. I had a pumpkin spice latte. Hey, it was. It was it, I mean, I mean, I'm I like all different. I'm out. I'm. I don't. I don't. I am not a fan of pumpkin in the least bit at all. <laughs> know what I mean? But I was okay. like, you know what? I'm a venture out. I'm gonna try something different. I did it, and it was cool. Pumpkin patching. I don't see the purpose. It was mm-hmm. cold. I was just out there with a shit. What is that? Wait, what's pumpkin? You you literally go to a farm where there's a shitload of pumpkins so you can pick one. Now my local grocery store, my local grocery store sells pumpkins. Go I didn't off. feel like I need to take this 45 minute trip to, to take the farm. Some pictures with pumpkins. But you know what I mean I did it. It was an interesting experience to say the least. You know what I mean? And that was really it. You know what I mean? Carving a pumpkin. People like, yo, I watch videos. Like I don't like going into something that I've never done before. So right. I watch videos like cool, like people like yo carving pumpkins are therapeutic. It's relaxing. That I mean it's peaceful. When I tell you it was the most stressful shit I've ever done, that I mean it's it's it is not easy. I don't know if y'all ever carved a pumpkin, but it's not. It's not it's easy, not. it's not fun. Therapeutic. It's not relaxing. That's why this is these are the words, yo, just a fact. But these are all white people that were telling me these things. There like, we go. yes, I get enjoy no, there no, we go. it was none of what they described at all. I feel like at you all. Were- I feel like you have to be a particular type of, um, like, I don't want to say like artist, but you have to be a particular type it. of creative in order to really enjoy pumpkin carving and all that shit. Um, I am, I am not that type of creative. Like, I was never the boy in school that was like good with the scissors and like, like doing arts and nope. shit like that. Like, put me on stage, make me have to say something like that. Talk about it. Too. But like using my hands and and nah, I, I will get frustrated as well. So I'd rather like, eat. I'd rather eat the fucking pumpkin. I don't got time to. If I'm gonna chop it up, <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. There you go. That part. That part. Uh, right I respect it. I'll chop that bitch up. I definitely it, respect it. I'm Make not gonna lie. I did. I did have a group of friends that wanted to do some pumpkin shit this year. We never got around to it. Um. So that's lit. I'm. I'm glad you got to do that. It is definitely an interesting experience. Um. Oh, trust me, yes, it is. <laughs> so I'm assuming you go apple picking also. Would you go apple picking? I have not. I done- like apples, though. I like apples. I feel like apple picking is not the same as pumpkin picking. You know what I mean? Because I like my apples fresh. It's, it's different. That, apples are one of my favorite fruit. So going, the experience of picking it off the tree, cool. I like that. I feel like I'm getting something fresh opposed to the apples that have been sitting there that Susan and Karen have been touching and squeezing and examining and putting back. So, okay. so I prefer apple picking. But pumpkin picking, I just, I just don't get it. I don't get it because I don't eat the outside of a pumpkin. pumpkin. I'm not licking a pumpkin. You know what I mean? So it's like, mm. you're not, fu- yeah, yeah, you're not mm. fucking with And then it puts you on a tractor, you know don't I mean? they? I don't got time for that. It's too cold. Next, D- Derek, what you Yo, got they, put, about? they put you on <laughs> you the like, tractor and you like, get me, <laughs> get me off this shit, bitch. Get me off. Dude, yes. Yes, you sit on you sit on hay, you sit on hay, and you just yep, this is it. 
like a like a like a motorized horse. That's just exactly what it's like. Come on, a motorized mm-hmm. horse. I'm here. I'm gonna do it. I gotta do it one time because I'm uh, I like experiences, so I gotta do it at least one time. I'm gonna do it. Um, oh, that's why I did it. So I, I definitely say do it. I love that. So damn pumpkins. My week. Uh, I got on the train for the first time this week in over a year. Uh, so this is like wow. pre-COVID. It's just like been a minute because I, I drive. So. Um, mm-hmm. you know, I kind of segued out of train life, but I, I did recall, like, I do love the train. I used to be a, a New York city train nigga. Like I was that nigga. I was the, I was the top <laughs> one out of all my friends that knew how to get anywhere and everywhere. Like if you needed a secret route that the map didn't tell you, like I knew routes before maps came out. Like I was that kid, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I was actually, I was in the show this week and we had the rehearsals in the city um, near one of the theaters. And um, so that's what forced me to get on the train. And uh, I just like, things that I realized that I missed about train life is walking or pumping through the, the tunnels to like, uh, to, to a beat. Just pumping through the tunnels to a beat and just feeling like a bad bitch. Like just walking through the, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I oh, like- you focus. You focus, like going, I was like, I, one of my songs hit and I was like, I said, I was in a music video all of a sudden. Like I was on the runway. I was like, oh yeah, I better get the fuck out the way because I was killing it. Um, So I missed that. I definitely missed the feeling of um of like feeling like somebody hit the pause button uh in my little video game of a life uh because mm. i feel like when you're in when you're on the train in the tunnel and you're getting to your destination nothing else can affect you like you're not really looking at text messages or anything like that it really is kind of a pause button and i, I used to like take that. that time to just like reflect think sometimes i will write poetry um I would be like productive. So I miss being productive in transit because when you're driving, you got to concentrate on the road. Like I can't be doing Mm -hmm. all this kind of shit. Um, So there's that. They got these new motherfucking tap and go Omni machine thing. So it's like, yeah, I I, I still don't know what the fuck that is. How do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? Like, I I think it, you know, New York City gonna get their money. They gonna get their corn any way they can. Like now, it's like there's no excuse for you that you don't have a metric car anymore, because now you just tap your fucking bank card or your credit card, and it'll just take the fare right out of there. Really? That's um, what that is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, yep. You just tap your bank card and you just go. So like you don't even need the to go to the machine anymore and like do whatever. Um, Still so hopping that bitch. So- <laughs> <laughs> you don't get no transfers or nothing. That's that's two seventy five <gasps> per ride anywhere you go though. Uh, they, 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 knew, they knew what they were doing. See, another they didn't get white, no transfers. Another thing for the you get no none of that. See, yep. there we go. There we go. Because I was trying to figure out. I'm like, all right, there's got to be some type of con to this, like da da da. But I didn't look good. I didn't look into it. So it's you see, they mm-hmm. gonna get you somewhere. We used to be able to get. Yeah, we used to be able to get certain places. I mean, you you. You was 275, on 275, you was able to hop the train, transfer to a bus, take the bus, take the train, transfer to another oh. train. You was solid on two. Yep. Now, yo, every ride is going to be 275. That same 275 trip is something like damn near $8. Wow. Dollars at. They, $89. They're definitely something else. Um, That's crazy. But uh, yeah, so that was definitely a, an experience on its own Uh, this week. Doing the show this week uh, was really cool. It was this... uh really politically driven piece that actually my friend got commissioned for by Intar Theater to write. Nice. Um, and we did that around, it, it, it's supposed to be, it was supposed to be like disruptive. So, um, and you know, like theaters are actually like closed. So we were doing it like outside. Uh, we were by Grand Army, uh, not Grand Army, by Grand Central Station, uh, by okay. uh, Pershing Square, like that little island thingy so like that was real cool yeah. to see the people like gather and be interested and hear what we had to say da, da, da. the other interesting part about my week was actually last night um i was at the office until around four o'clock in the morning um i was on my way home i stopped to get gas at a gas station and when i pulled in there was this robust um, white woman that was kind of like, she kind of like came into the view of like my my windshield, right? 
And instantly, you know, I'm at the end of the day, I'm from Brownsville. You know what I'm saying? Like never ran, never will. You could take, you know, the kid out of the hood, but you can't take the hood out of the kid. So instantly she just gave me sus vibes. So my face and my whole aura just kind of went to like, like what's good. Um, Defense so mode, like what's up? Yeah, yeah. Like, so like, what's up? So then she kind of like disappeared once my aura changed. So I was like still doing me, still got out the car, still, you know, was doing my shit. When I turn around, I ain't getting out the car. I, yeah, you got four o'clock in the morning. You know what it is? Out the yeah, fucking you, car. You know, but you know what it also is? <laughs> also, what I must say about yesterday, um, for just like many different reasons that I won't get into, but my angels were very prevalent all day yesterday. Like all day, they were making themselves known to me. Um, and literally, even right before that moment, I saw too many things like matched up that was like, all right, y'all still, y'all still fucking with me like that or not. Y'all so still hold me I, down. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't even like any type of ego, like, oh yeah, I'm still going to get my gas anyway. It was just like, I, I felt good. Like, I just felt good. Like, so I still did what I had to do. But as soon as I got out the car and I turned around, there was a, a robust Hispanic man that was right behind me. And then he was like, yo... Um, you know, like, uh, like, like, no disrespect. I'm sorry to approach you, but that's my wife over there. Basically, if you're from New York City, you've heard this fucking spiel and rundown before. Um, and I normally pay it dust. I normally pay it dust. I don't acknowledge it like that or not. He was like, yo, our car broke down. Me and my wife are just trying to get home. This nigga mm -hmm. said, this nigga said, hold on. This was new though. This part was new. This nigga said, can you give us a ride? This shit hit differently. Oh! It, yes. Yes. This shit hit differently. Because it wasn't like, oh, oh I need, it, it wasn't, I need money or like da 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 or anything like that. This nigga said, can you give us a ride? And literally, and I was Hell like, right no. away, right away, I said, I was like, I was like, I'm going to have to think about that. So I kept getting my gas, like da da da. And then he started, he started trying to chop it up with me. He was like, you know, like, um, he was like, I don't have any money. He was like, I could give you my chain uh, as payment. He was like, we're literally just like right down the block, like 13 minutes. Um, he was like, um, I'm not going to hurt you. I don't have any weapons on me. Like, da, da, da. Like, it was all, yo, y'all, yeah, it, it was just me and this guy, just me and them. It was all mad sus. When I tell you, I just felt so good. Like, I, I felt covered. I felt nothing was going to happen to me. So, after I... Because they was with you. They you was gave them the you. ride? You gave them the ride? Hold on. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. So, after... Oh, I damn. Finished, what's that I, happen? After I finished... Finish what? Right, right, right. So, after I finished pumping the gas, right, me and the man, we locked our eyes. I'm looking at him. And literally, I was just like, you know what? Like, I don't know. Something felt different. I was like, nah, I was like, like something was telling me to like help them. You know what I'm saying? So I did not give them the ride. What I did was I was like, yo, what's your address? He gave it to me. Um, and I just called them an Uber. So I called them an Uber. Uh, it was $15 um, That's smart. that I don't fucking have, but I did it anyway. That's and, my I would have uh, took the chain. Fuck, I'm a, I'll take your chain. <laughs> and my ticket is Uber. Like, like, like the girl sisters from Proud Family, like, Oh, fuck. Um, it could be whatever. It could melt that bitch down. Put that shit in the ring. It don't matter how yeah, much gold that is. Don't go. Melt that go. shit down. But nah, I didn't. I didn't want anything. I honestly just wanted them to get home safely. Um, so I did that. Called the Uber. I waited till the Uber got there. It was only two minutes. Um, and then they pulled off. But let me tell you. Oh, so I was also high as fuck, right? So this is where the paranoia of my high kicked in. Because as soon as they got in the Uber and pulled off, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, Derek, wait, what if they really are, like, killers? And then they, and I, and I just set this Uber man up. I was like, what if they murk him? That's not your problem. Not your problem. But, but, no, no, no. you're right. You're right. It's not my problem. But in that, like, all right, let me mm. tell you, I'm a stone, I'm a, at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a stone cold bitch, Gemini, where I will look out for myself first, but, like, when you add in substances, I start getting, because, all right, so, I'm a cancer, um, my moon and my, and my rising are in cancer, so I do, I can get emotional if it peaks out, so I was just like, oh, no, I just set this man up, da-da-da, y'all, you know what I started doing? You know, I started following them home, I started <laughs> driving, 
I started driving right behind the man because I was like, if anything go down, I want to be there to help him because I was like, I just feel so blessed right now. Nothing's going to touch me like that. So I followed them about most of the way home. But ironically, they had to drive. So they ended up driving through my block in order to keep going. So once we got to my block, I was like, I was like, oh, I'm parking. I was like, he good, he good, I'm parking. And then I, I was like, let me just watch on the app to see if they ever get dropped off. So I was watching it on the app. And then I saw the little car icon spin around like two blocks by their house. It started like spinning around like it was like out of control. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, they fighting for the vehicle. It's going down. Like, oh my God. I just got, yo, I put down, was, put down the pipe. Put down the I was pipe. wilding. Yo, I was wilding. Yo, but, but, then, but then it said that it said that it dropped them off. So I let it go. And that was that. And I was like, the car started sitting there fighting for the vehicle. Oh, uh -uh. God. you know, it kills me because it's like, you know, stories like that. Yeah, you did a good deed. Kudos to you. I wouldn't do it. Whatever. Call me mean. Don't care. Is that. Not even a little bit. It's too. No. It's too. Not even a dollar. I'm, I'm struggling myself. I'm giving me a dollar. No. But it's two of them. And y'all both broke. See, that's the type of shit I've been talking about. Y'all in a relationship and both of y'all's broke. Yeah. Both? Yeah. I nah, 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 nah. Anyway, I, I, I digress. I digress. You, you, you were blessed in that moment because there was no way in hell. No way in hell. I, f I, I really oh, felt just it. And, my and, I, and I normally don't. I really normally, like, they was <sighs> like the one, in my, th in my 29 years, they, they were the one. They, they, they were definitely the, the one. Um, no. But yeah, so that's that. Good for we you. Are, <laughs> we are going That's a to... fact. You definitely deserve that. Oh, uh, thank you, thank that. you, thank you. Uh, we're going to transfer over to the second area of season four, which is Grand Central Station. You don't mm. end up over here unless you've got business to take care of. People are coming and going, and so are the resources and information. Uh -huh. Here is where we grab what we need before we hop on the shuttle to get what we want. Disclaimer, things should be fact-checked. And the segment over here is word on the street. This is what we need you to know. So I'm going to just throw it out there again. I'm going to just say, I've been saying this every week, but I'm going to just say vote. Um, if you haven't already, go out there and do that. I think we are still in early vote period. Uh, official voting happens on November 3rd. Um, if you need uh -huh. to like, do any type of research and look up who the fuck you're voting for, I recommend that you go to uh, headcount.org or ballotready.org. Very useful pieces of information on those sites do the damn thing. Also, what I want people to know is that um, I, I was blessed with the opportunity to like get back into a little bit of theater during this odd time that we're in right now. And I just thought that it was really cool. So like basically because of this, there's literally a new uh, position that has been created on these like um on these like sets and things like that so every set or crew or whatever now has a uh covid compliance supervisor and their job it's exactly what it sounds like their job is literally to make sure that everybody is complying with the covid uh with the covid 19 um uh, guidelines so they are there setting up stations of sanitization um making sure that your mask is all is always over your nose and covering your mouth and if that just slips down a little they right there like ah, ah, ah. um they always giving you the little hand pumps making sure that you're hydrated that you don't have a fever like everybody has to get covid tested they're in charge of making sure that happens like uh, and I, I think like it's un wow fortunate the time that we're in but i also think that it's beautiful that um that jobs are still being created for it if that makes sense just like the dichotomy of this of this shit that we're in right now and then right other than that last but not least i also just want to let everybody know because i know niggas be getting frustrated um google now has this thing called hum to search so you know like when there's a song stuck in your head but you don't know the lyrics or anything like that you can now, mm -hmm. there's now a button on yep. Google that you can just hit that shit. You can hum the tune and it'll come up with the song that what? you Yeah, so. Yep. Damn. They made that for me. Because I'll be, I, I don't be no words to shit. I, I just be like, mm. nope. Like, so it's perfect yep. for Google the Google will pick it up and be like, yep, this is. Yeah. I want to say this right. one thing. 
real quick, while we talk about the COVID and all this shit that we need to be knowing, right? Yeah. yeah. So I went to a doctor a couple of days ago, gave him my normal checkup, you know what I'm saying? Because he's supposed to be getting checked up six months, all right? Because some niggas don't be doing that. <laughs> is that um, I normally don't take a, a flu shot. Like probably t- took it like once in my life, and I was like a like a child, like an infant. Um, so I, um, yeah, I want to say take a flu shots just because you know you could get one of the reasons when they say like because oh, of spike and it's gonna be more intense is because people are going to have COVID. It's predicted. It's predicted that they're. Gonna- And gonorrhea. You don't want to go, baby. You don't want to get your flu shot. I took mine and I didn't get no fever or anything like that. But I definitely recommend it. No, we, we definitely. It will show you that it will, it will tell you that it's tracking you and let you know if you are in, an, in, in a high COVID area. And then you can give it a further permission if you're. Have like an Apple Watch and things of that nature to actually check your vitals on a on a rotation to see if you are likely to have COVID. How do you feel about that? I mean, I get it. it's data, data, whatever. I get it. Child, they could check for that shit. We don't we just give them permission. But if we don't, they still gonna do it. God damn it. You're right. That's true. Very You're true. Absolutely right. You are absolutely right. It's cool. I, I I guess it's good for both sides. It keeps, I guess, the the normal day person like us, um, I guess. Informed, more informed, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that. So shit. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm gonna do something. Sorry, I'm gonna do. Hold on. Let me. Uh... Let me just like... All right. So we are going to hop on the shuttle train and take it one stop to our next area, which if you're from New York City, you know it's Times Square. The area with the pitta patta chitta chatta hustle and bustle of the city with the muscle cause can't nobody <laughs> flex like us, <laughs> all right? We jaywalking through these streets with zero <gasps> occasionally bumping into tourists, seeing what's up in their hometowns, and strutting through Broadway for all things entertainment. Now, the first segment in this <gasps> is... Ooh, that was funny to me. <laughs> play, all right? This is the first segment. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just want to bring up, did y'all hear about Offset being arrested during his live? Is that the one that Cardi came running out yeah. when they were on, like, uh, mm-hmm. on, on, on some production line? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. Um, mm. how, y'all, how y'all, what y'all think about that? How y'all feel? Out of control. It's- I don't feel for it. <laughs> like... It's just madness, to it's, be honest. It's crazy. Absolute madness. Yeah, I don't know. It was like, I think, well, first of all, Cardi made that moment, number one. Number two, it was well, like. Cardi makes a, all those moments. Like, that was, that was. That yeah. Was, they were on a, a Cardi production solo. line. Like, that's what that was. Always. They were on a production line. Apparently, allegedly, he had guns, but he really didn't have any guns. And apparently, it was something to do with like Trump supporters bothering him, allegedly. So I really don't know what it is, but that's the those are the things that I heard. Pure madness. Yeah. That's 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 the gist that I got. It, so it was like he was doing a whole bunch of shit, but he didn't actually do nothing. It was people trying to get him, but not really. Yeah. Um, it's like where do you go with that? Like. Yeah, I remember the the main thing I remember from the video is um he was like, do you know who the fuck I am? I'm I'm some for Migos. Migos, man, shut up. Shut the fuck up. They don't care. Right? They police. They don't. Police. They don't give a shit. They don't give and a Migos. shit. Only when they really know it's Quavo anyway. Like only I have the really know anyway. Like, you don't got the best rap to be name dropping like that anyway. I'll pretend to be somebody else, which I ain't them. I ain't him. Right. right. Yeah, so yeah, so, that, that 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 was definitely um very interesting. Um in a get in a whole lot of nothing. And and they involved they have so many lawsuits between the two of them. It's like so oh, mm-hmm. yeah. it's mm, it's it's yeah. sticky, it was sticky off rip. It's sticky off rip and now there's no facts, a whole lot of speculation on a whole bunch of nonsense. Messy, messy. This is, this is, yeah. I guess that's what happens when you're in the public eye, or them in the public eye. Yeah. Last week they were getting divorced, now they're getting arrested. Pick one, pick they one. They were, they were getting, and then they decided, yo, she's calling off the divorce. Why? 
Why? Why? You have more money than he does. So I don't, I, personally, I feel like he was going to get half of her shit. Yes. And he was like, you know what? Actually, I can hold you down because right. I'm not in the mood to lose all my shit yet. That's what I'm personally thinking. That's, that's what I'm thinking. That's good. Probably. I don't think about that. Probably. Probably, yeah. That's funny. I love that. It's what it had, that's what it had to be. Um, yeah. So Whitney, Mother Whitney, uh, became the first Black artist in history to have three Diamond certified albums, uh, Whitney Houston, Whitney, and The Bodyguard. So congrats to her. Um, sleep in peace, queen. I love me some Whitney Houston. She, she, deserved, she deserved it. Like, no, nobody's touching that. Nobody's yeah. touching that. Not at all. That woman all. was a, a legend for real. Yep. A legend for real. Um, did you see that Kanye gifted Kimberly this uh, heavenly hologram? Of her father? Of her father. Yes. Of her father. Um, of her father saying that you married a genius and just like <laughs> basically hyping himself up through the image and voice of her father in this hologram, which I thought in was... just true Gemini fashion, just like mm. way to give yourself a gift as well as giving it to somebody else. Um, people in the comments were just like, I think that this is actually high key disrespectful. <laughs> like da, da, da. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> That's where I was. That's a thousand percent where I was. That's dumb Monica, as hell. What? Like, yo, Monica, you got brownie points because what you were trying to do initially was fire. Yeah, like, if right. you had that type of money and to do that, that is like, that, I mean, had he done it the right way, I don't think I would have known anybody who gave a gift famous or not that would have topped something like that. Right. But to do it and go so far to have such a beautiful gift, to just big yourself up when we know that you're out of control. Oh my God. You add a fucking oh voiceover to a dead oh man's hologram. My a fucking music God. artist. It was um very entertaining to say the least. Maybe in his mind, because you know he's wacky. So maybe in his mind he was doing something right. You know, maybe he thought it was, you know, maybe he thought, oh, but we we don't think that. We don't oh think no, that. you see, and this is the this is the thing with um with most of Kanye's stunts. I, you know, because I get the Gemini psyche, you know, um, in no way, shape or form do I think that he th thought that he was doing anything malicious at all or anything. No, not at all. You know what not I'm saying? I'm pretty sure in his mind, like there was nothing wrong with what he did, um, which just makes it more funny because like, you can be, you know, I, I feel like I'm a heightened Gemini. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm aware and just like things like that. And it's just so funny when you see the others, um, you know, like him, like Trump, like Azealia sometime, do stereotypical Gemini shit, not knowing that, like, we see y'all, like, we see you, like, you, you, we see you, you know what I'm saying? Um, even when you don't see yourself. So, That's I, ridiculous. I, very entertaining. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that Kanye is Kanye through and through, no matter what Kanye does. Yeah. That is the one thing I will respect because no matter how crazy it looks, no matter how outlandish it may be, Kanye stays true yep. to Kanye. So I appreciate it. And I no appreciate one, it. And no one else. Um, <laughs> and no one else. <laughs> that was a beautiful uh, touch. I like that. That was a beautiful touch. I want to <laughs> ask y'all, who, who do you think out of, and you can add your own if you saw anything else spectacular, but who do you think won Halloween out of Kylie, Saweetie, and um, Sierra? So just to explain to those listening that might not know, uh, Kylie and her group of gays, mm. her gaggle of gays or whatever, they, <laughs> they, were, they, were gaggle all, of gays. they were all the Power Rangers. They had Wait, those, those were all, those are, those were, those are all gay men? Yes. No, 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 no. I'm just calling her friends gay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> there must be one. There might have been one. I think uh, pro the, probably the, right. the, the Black Ranger w was a guy for sure. Um, but yeah, they were the Power Rangers. They had these long wigs um, that I think Tay did. Um, and the whole Mighty Morphin Power Ranger outfit. It was very cute altogether. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was cute. So Weedy did the uh, Bootylicious album yeah. cover or song cover uh, from Destiny's Child. But she was all three of them and per perfectly executed. Right. And Sierra redid 
Cardi's um, cover for Invasion uh-huh. Privacy, and uh, she was Cardi, and her child was um, what's his face, and um, it, it was very cute. It was very cute. So I want to try to I want to know who do y'all think won, or do y'all have any other contestants? If I had to go with the winner, like I, I don't like I'm torn, right? Mm-hmm. I would say if I had to pick one, I was definitely going with the Power Rangers. I thought that shit was phenomenal. Yeah. It was nostalgic to our yeah. generation. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I appreciated that in every which way. Sweeties, I thought was the most beautifully executed though. Like I it was clean, it was precise, it was on point. Like it so it was like I'm I'm torn. I'm torn yeah. because it's like what what actually should win and what I'm feeling should win. Are two different things. I feel two you. different things. I feel you. Ciara's thing I thought was nice. Like it was cute. Same. Like it was, it was cute. But Same. like Sweeties was like, damn, bitch. Like you did that. She you did that. Did, she did that. that. You know she what I mean? That. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's that's just where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Yeah. Cause I cause then I think she also recreated the music video. Did Ooh. she? Yeah, yes. I think there's also a music video component to the outfits. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well yeah. that's different. Like, and then she a, went yeah. in. Yeah, she went yeah. in. Uh, uh, I was gonna say like I I would have went with uh, uh, what's her name Ciara just because it was cute. She had her, the son was was offset and things like that. It was it was cute and shit like that. Cause to me like with with sweetie, it's like girl, you dress like that anyway. <laughs> you know, it's like ain't you dress like that, girl. It's it was all in her closet. It was all in her <laughs> you closet. Dress like that, <laughs> right? Angel Angel Brinks made made the costumes for for for. Uh, Sweetie. Sweetie, and then and then yeah, Angel Brinks, and then with uh, Kylie, yes, it was nostalgic. It was it was nice, the Power Rangers, but again, it's like, girl, you in a bodysuit and yeah. a wig. Yeah. Next, not my style, but that's <laughs> like so. I don't know. That's it. I wasn't in, like pressed. I feel like Kylie did better probably like last year, but okay. but then again, I think they're probably still bust. Like tonight, I'm pretty sure they'll bust out with something else. So. Exactly. Yeah. It, yeah. Of course. I think. I think. Uh, Kim and her friend and then her children, they were like the Tiger King family. And yeah. <laughs> that was um, funny. Very cute. Um, I think a lot of people are going comical this year. A lot of people are, are playing other people, I'm noticing. Because we're in a state of yes. depression. So we need the, we <laughs> yes. need the comedy. <laughs> we need the comedy. Um, are, yeah. I'm definitely going to go with Sweetie. I think she went hard. <laughs> she went hard. And now reminding myself there was a whole visual video component as well. Like she definitely won uh hands down for me um moving along uh and travis i know you might have a lot to say about this so i'm excited but i finally <laughs> got into the entirety of the bad girls club oh, tea. Of, co- of course i got um, some tea for that last night I finally like when i tell you i was in a wormhole like i don't even know i was supposed to be getting work done and i spent <laughs> three hours i watched tanisha's entire live by herself i watched uh, uh gabby's live by her no i watched gabby's youtube that she did then i watched the twins youtube together then i watched uh danny's then i watched Nat- <laughs> i watched erica's and like and i'm not talking Yo, about, you were going yeah, in i was you going down and, the rabbit hole and, for real and i'm not talking about skipping around like i was watching yeah. the entirety of everything and um very very interesting so before we even begin, Travis, can you just give us a brief rundown for those listening that might not know, what is even the dilemma? Um, so right now, you know, they're coming back with all these shows and this, that, and the third. So I'm going to say this. Oxygen, the re- Oxygen did a rebranding, right? So they changed it to a crime. They do a whole bunch of crime series now. So with Nancy Grace, Snap time kind of shows. So they dropped mm-hmm. all their reality shows. So they rebranded the whole... Ne- That's why Bad Girls Club was canceled. It wasn't canceled because of the ratings. Even though the ratings were not what they used to, but they canceled all the other shows, not just Bad Girls Club. Okay. So... Um, there was a fight that happened on with Blueface and some other old bad girl named Winter that went viral, and then Blueface ended up coming out with a BGC, which called which is called Blue 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 Blue, Blue Girls Blue, Blue Girls Club. It's called the Blue Girls Club. So he brought he put seven girls in his house or in a different house, and he has them like box. They be yo, they be fist flying, but these girls are like they're like real. 
Okay. They, they wrote rough. They wrote it's rough. A little, it's a little gutter butt. It's a little gutter it's, butt. It's very yeah. ghetto. It's like Bagatelle was ghetto, but this was like, we could record this with the iPhone. It'll be the same thing. It's, it, it's not like with the girls in the house. And allegedly that, and so it's our only fan. So allegedly he made, um, he's like profiting two mil from it. Okay. So Nally got wind of it and Nally started calling call Tanisha and Flo. Then try to try, oh no. Natalie called Flo and Tanisha trying to like, oh, we should do a, a BDC, like we should do content for OnlyFans. Not making it a spinoff, not really making it much than what it was on OnlyFans. Then Zeus got wind of it and that, that's when things started playing. Because it was two different things. One right. is for OnlyFans content and they're actually filming a show now for Zeus. Right. Boom. Okay, okay, all right. So. Wow. Now, from what I was catching up with as well, I know that during that OnlyFans phase or section or whatever, there might have been a lot of miscommunication. Between, there is. Uh -huh. First of all, it, it seems like Natalie and Tanisha were going to be like the heads of it, right? Like maybe like right. the executive producers. And it sounds like Natalie wanted to put together a team of nine of these other girls, or at least she was telling them that they were also going to be producers. Uh, Erica and the, and the Victor twins, Danny and Gabby, being right. three of those other alleged producers. Um, but things were going left in their little group chats on the Zoom calls, X, Y, Z. Of course, with Natalie taking the charge of this, on this, um, she wanted everything to be her idea. It was her way of the highway, X, Y, Z. Um, she had a certain image of what she wanted the show to be. Tanisha wanted it to be more like refined and like we're all mature women now. Let's go to this retreat, X, Y, Z. Natalie wanted a little bit more of the boom, boom, rah than Tanisha did. Shaking so titties then, in the pool. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> uh, do, uh, the, twi the twins were spilling tea, talking about she wanted them to do a little bit of like lesbian action. She was like, we're not, we're not doing any of that, X, Y, Z. Um, right. So that's when Tanisha parted from it as well. Uh, but Natalie also had everybody start to do this thing where they were kind of starting to promo for it. Uh, so like, I know like, the, like every, everybody was just like contributing on OnlyFans. They, they, like, raised, they raised 20K without any content, OnlyFans, like in a, like a week or two. Wow. 20K. Which is why a lot of the girls, including the twins, were like, oh no, even though they kept feeling sus vibes, they were like, no, the money pot is going up, so we're going to stick this out um, until it came down to the get down. Mind you, the 20K is doesn't even, it's not even added up. That's, they don't even make that much money being on the show. Right. You got to pay like no more than $500 a week on the show. No right. more than that. Exactly. Wow. Uh, so Natalie was like, all that, all, Natalie was like, all the money is going towards the show and things like that. And now she's, it, it's just, it got messy mm. real quick. Um, the girls are just on all their different lives. Cursing I'm, here I'm here for it. I'm here for it. It's, it's going to work. the best it's, part it's, of the show. It's going to work. Believe it me, is. you, it's going to work. Oh. People love Bag of Slug. It's going to work. That's why I'm excited. Either way, Zeus got it too, and they had a conversation on Zeus. They put behind the scenes. I'm here for it. I'm here for the madness. It can I'm be scripted or not. Fuck it. Fuck I'm it. Fuck each other I'm, up. I'm, I'm so up. here for it. And um, yeah, I think, I think I, Natalie, say what you want. That's a smart ass bitch. She I used to be Flo's personal assistant, and I still love you, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> I love me, Nash. You know, I you know. She, yeah, yeah. Nat Nat Natalie is a trip. Um, so I'm excited she to, see, to see what comes from that. Um, we're going to slide on over to the ball drop. Uh, we have to keep hope alive during these times. So here at the New York Dose, every week is New Year's. What are you looking forward to? Any new resolutions or epiphanies this mm -hmm. week? Gems that you wish to share? Um, I'm going to kick it off just in case you guys need a moment to think about anything. But um, actually, and this is a perfect segue, because as I was watching um, Tanisha, Ooh. one of Tanisha's lives, she, I guess, in the exchange between her and Natalie, Natalie started saying some real off-the-wall shit or whatever. I'm, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't um. What? You a, you a house nigga? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a field nigga? Right, right. The that that whole line. Tanisha dragged it. She took it and she ran. She dragged it. She did. She she Girl. she took, she took it and she ran. Oh, my line went off. Uh uh uh. -uh. <laughs> production, production. Uh uh. Production. Come on. Um, 
So yeah, so so Tanisha claims she was very hurt about it, blah, 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 yada, yada. But one of the things that she was saying toward the end of her video, she was like, you know, like, that's still my sister. That's still my sister, like, da-da-da. She was like, you my, she was like, you my sister, but I don't fuck with you. She was like, sometimes you gotta love from a distance, X, Y, that's Z. That's a fact. And that phrase really just, like, hit for me, because I kid you not, earlier this week, I literally uttered the same exact thing, um, you know, in my own way, you know, I'm in a, uh, I'm in, I'm in a little pickle, it's not really a pickle, but, you know, I'm in the middle, the pickles are good. Mm -hmm. I'm in the middle of repositioning, uh, you know, uh, somebody's right now, and as I was having a conversation <laughs> with, you know, a third party member, are I you being shady like, right now? I was just you like, you throwing no, shade? No, no shade at all. You sound like you're throwing shade. Um, you know, as I was in the conversation with the third party member, I was like, I love them. I was like, I love them, still support them. I said, but right now, I don't like them. Love them, but I do not like them right now. I was like, I just right now do not fuck with them, you know? And yeah. that, that it, I was like, still, <laughs> still near and dear to my heart, but I need some space right now um, to just love from afar because it is just not going to go down pretty if it's all on top of each other right now um and this is after just like conversations were already had right so me after just having that conversation hearing tanisha give that phrase and that clean little snippet of a sentence i was like that part that part right there you are perfectly capable of having somebody be so close to you and still consider somebody your family and xyz but not fuck with them at the moment like it's totally doable um and it's also okay uh to love that person from afar sometimes yeah ain't wrong with that you gotta know when to take that break nothing wrong at all at all at yeah all. And especially what comes down to motherfucking business you know you got on top of that business any honestly anything like we we, yeah. we 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 think that a lot of business rules only apply to business when they also right. have the interpersonal relationships as well like it it's all across the board um and take can, note on how people move because baby you because mm, take note or oh, when they when they show you who they are you believe them the first go around yes exactly. you do exactly and i yeah. think and and just me personally and my thing it was like it's the first thing um, that me and said person have, you know, like gotten into. But I also, on my end, I don't need any other type of encounter to show me that that's how you're always going to be. You know what I'm saying? It's like that first thing that's is right. all I need to begin your repositioning. And, you know, and it's not, it's not a, oh, we're done. Like, it doesn't have to be that dramatic. It doesn't have to be all that. Sometimes it really just has to be a reposition. I need to now reposition you in my life. Right, and I don't gotta tell you that I'm repositioning you, ho. I'm gonna put you on the no. show without you knowing. It's spring cleaning. That's a fact. Bye -bye. That's a fact. Cleaning. When you let people know now, now just because you said it in the, the nature of human rejection or how they yeah. feel is the human rejection. Now, why, what do I need to do? I need to hold in the same position. When it's just like, yo, if I took a step back, they wouldn't even notice if you said nothing. But because you said something, now they're putting forth even more effort just to try and be present. Yeah, no, yeah. And, no, and not yeah. only and not only is it more effort, it's fake effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He not, wasn't doing this from the jump, right? right. Now, because I said something, I ain't gonna do something bad. It's like dating. Oh God. Period. Period. Makes me sick. Um, do y'all have anything for the ball drop? If not, we can move along. Me? Any epiphanies? No. Any oh. gems y'all want to drop? I think people are throwing shit and pretend like they got it together. That's my epiphany. But I guess we all been knew that. That's a fact. It's every year. I, it keeps on getting more like in my face. Like these motherfuckers don't know what the fuck they talking about. Blind leading the blind. <laughs> Yo, well, this week I just turned thirty. Oh, turned thirty. Yeah, thirty. 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 Let me dirty thirty. When, when was your but, birthday? Um, no, my birthday's on the fifth. So I got, I got, I got. Oh, this week you I, turned thirty. I thought you yeah, said this week turned. I turned. No, no, no. Oh, this okay. Week I okay. Okay. 30. Okay. Okay. Turned thirty. Wow. Yeah, 3030. Uh, so that means, that means you're blacking I, out tonight. You're blacking out. You take a shot. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely going in. Definitely going Ooh. in. And then okay. next week, going in too. Got to. Okay. <laughs> got to. I, I, got, I got to enjoy it all the way up. Because 30 in a day, I, I'm, I have to be a whole new individual. 
You know what I mean? I'm growing up. Um, as far as gems, you know, this coronavirus shit, to be honest, I personally feel like it was a blessing in disguise. Blessing in disguise. I'm not all for, you know, everybody died. A lot of people, myself included, that have prayed in certain times, like, yo, the world would stop. Allow yeah. me to catch up. I was behind yeah. the eight ball, and I just, I just needed the ball to stop so I can catch up to it. And because of this, that means as long as the person has the right mindset, you're able to actually, you actually catch up and even surpass the ball. And that's, that's what it's been. So for me, ever this, this whole year was about growth, production, you know, kind of building the business around me doing what I want to do for myself. I refuse from this point on to ever go back to a nine to five. So um, I've just been doing that, I had that between personal training, photography now. Um, I've been vlogging. That's led to a lot of different things as far as recording and, and kind of self-employment. So, yeah, it's just been overall a blessing. So my, my gem would just be if anybody was listening, like, yo, even though you may not have started anything before today, take today and every day moving forward to pursue that one thought, that one idea that you believe could lead you to where you want to be. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, the world will right. eventually open back up. And when it does, you're, you're, you're back, back in the same game of cat and mouse. So take Ooh. the time while the world stops to do what you need to do. You Ooh. know what I mean? And that's just where I'm at. Absolutely. Wow. Love that. And I ain't nobody's prey, bitch. I'm the predator, right? Is it right? Is it right? Is it right? Is that right? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> You got it. it. Talk about Talk, it. Talk about it. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Predator. <laughs> I am positively done. Y'all are hysterical. Um, Ooh. All right. And now we take our break. And we are back. What's Getting that? off the subway to walk now, we stop at La Bodega before we bring it home. La Bodega is the fourth and final section of our show. You can look around, but our agenda is set. We're going to see what our favorite items of the week are. Um, we're not playing any lotto today, but we're also going to see what's on the counter and uh, make it do what it do. So first, let's stop in and see what our items of the week are. Um, I'm gonna start off with myself. Uh, this is the weekly obsession. My items of the week have been Blood of Zeus, which is an anime on hey, which is an anime on Netflix. Um, I am super into did you watch it, Alex? Did you watch it yet? Yes, sir. Finish that bad boy. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, I am super into just like Greek mythology and things like that. So I was very excited to see uh, this anime version of a untold before Greek mythos um, based in, you know, like, uh, not cliche, but like, it's rooted in classical Greek uh, mythology. So Zeus is off being him, doing what all men do. Hera catches wind of it and starts going the entire fuck off. And That's it's so just, sad. it becomes a battle of the gods and, and, and the giants and just different things like that. Um, but you know, we all know, if you're familiar with Greek mythology, we all know that Zeus is known for stepping mm -hmm. out and, um, you know, just impregnating all these mortal women and uh, coming up with all these demigod sons like Hercules. That's how Hercules mm -hmm. came about. Um, and, uh, yeah, Hera was- Sounds all too familiar. Yeah, okay, right. <laughs> Hera was not pleased, and, uh, she waged war on that man. So that definitely binged that, and then also another anime that I started catching back up on this week is, uh, the second season of Fire Force. Um, <laughs> yay! Man, it's great. Hey, Alex, I'm gonna, have to get you, I'm gonna have to get you on my anime channel. We're gonna have to have a little Yo, chat. I'm um, with that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Travis, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> watch that shit. I don't fucking watch my anime. <laughs> but yes, those have been my items for the week. Fire Force is another dope anime. Basically about this group of, um, you can say it's about like firefighter houses. It takes place in this uh, universe where people spontaneously combust. So they've been looking into that phenomenon and trying to figure out why this occurs. There was a like great fire cataclysm that happened like 200 years ago or something like that and gave birth to 
different generations of uh, people that can control fire in many different ways and things like that. Um, it's very interesting. It's very cool. It's very dope. The fighting is lit. The animation is lit. Everything's cool. Those have been my items. Uh, what about you, Travis? Because I like real shit. Oh, you do? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm, I love documentaries, L like all types. So interesting. See, I stay away from documentaries. So my, <laughs> my, um, my main TV source is YouTube. I watch everything. I watch the news on YouTube, OK? Oh, oh. So there's this YouTube channel. It's a really big YouTube channel, YouTube channel called True Crime Recap. Recap. And it's a channel where these two hosts, they go through, like, they break down all these, like, documentaries, like, current documentaries. And they're, like, and, like it's, like, Cliff Notes kind of deal. Like, right. they recap everything. They give you all the information. And it's good. Like, you feel like you're watching. Like, they're good at what they do. So I can recommend that. Love it. Especially, you know, you know, the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing. You know, I like that. I like that juicy shit. You know what I'm saying? I like people getting exposed. Expose me to something, you know? Expose so, me yes. True, true crime or recap. Run on YouTube. Get into it. Thank me later. Okay, I might take a little peek. We'll see what it do. That's good. It's really, it's really good. What about you, Alex? So, so I got three things, right? <laughs> I've, been, I've been on, right? Come on. One, so, so, so to touch on documentaries, The Social Dilemma had Ooh. me hooked. Okay. Absolutely. I've seen that. Huh? For those who don't know, Social Dilemma is just talking about how the world's developed in social media and what actually goes behind the algorithms within social media to keep us engaged in that our attention is actually the currency for these tech companies and not the money or the ads that we're thinking about, but actually our attention and how much time we actually spend on a given app. So when they deep dive into that, it was it was it was mind blowing. Like makes you not, it makes you want to stay away from your phone. But even in the documentary, they describe how even the people that work there yeah. are so engaged and wrapped into this system that it's, they created it's ridiculous. Yes, absolutely Crazy. insane. My second one is Barbarians on Netflix. Um, I keep scrolling past that. It is fire. I haven't finished it yet. But literally, it's about nomads going up against the Roman Empire. And they're all different tribes. And the tribes don't like each other. But two children within, the, uh, within one particular tribe decides to band everybody together, find other tribes to take on the Roman army, which Ooh. we all know is incredibly vast. So like it's how they're yeah. cunning, how they're getting everybody together, beyond ridiculous. Wow. And then when it comes to my anime, I have to. I've been catching up again. on Black Clover, which <laughs> is which is that's that's, that's my shit. That's in the heart. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? where, where would you watch? Where, okay, so, no, seriously. Now, I'm not trying to be shady, but where would you watch anime? Like on like Netflix? You could do Netflix. Everybody has their Hulu, own site. I do Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll. Um, I do AnimeFreak.tv. Uh, everything's free. There's no commercials. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yep. it, oh, anime free dot TV. Anime freak. Free anime boy. freak. I, I knew I heard that at first. That sounds that sound like some Asian porn. <laughs> it does. And um, there's, there's also VRV, VRV.com. Yes. Um, uh, let me see what else. There, there's a couple of things. There's a couple is, of things. Uh, what is it? Fandomation? Fundamation, actually. Fundamation, Fundamation. Is yes. Dragon Ball Z considered anime? Oh, of course, yes. Yes. a thousand percent. Oh, okay, okay. One of my so favorites. it's not that bad, I guess. No, no, no. One of my favorites. Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon, those are all like classic mm -hmm. American. Those are yeah, yeah, because then they're 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 anime anime. It's like Asian does an Asian like anime, great. They, they created the mass singer, and that's just ridiculous. That's crazy. Right, right, right. That's exactly. that's that is some that's some off the wall anyway. Brilliant. <laughs> 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 I love that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, Alex, I'm definitely gonna have to we're gonna have to link up for from my one of my anime reviews too. Um, oh, a hundred and ten percent. Let's do yeah, it. Definitely. <laughs> uh we are going to mosey on over to uh um, <laughs> I love it. Thank you. We're gonna have to mosey on over to on the counter. This is the main topic on display for today. Uh, season four, again, specifically focuses on highlighting national monthly observances 
and this week's observance is National Pizza Month. So, real quick, because you know these things can get lengthy, but I tried to compress it to just the bare bones of whatever we want to do. So, I'm I'm going to give the uh, the history of, or you know, like the the told history of New York City pizza, because I was really trying to dig into things like what was the first pizza shop in the Bronx and Brooklyn and things, you know, like the hood spots, things like that. Mm -hmm. Couldn't really find it. It's okay. No. Everyone, everyone's gonna say they're the first because, like, like they were how the that's first because they're like how, grandfather. How we think Italians, right? Exactly, exactly, right. Italians so, didn't create pizza. It was the motherfucking Greeks. Go off, go off. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so you know, couldn't really, not gonna, can't, couldn't get into all of that. Not gonna get into all of that. Um, but I'm gonna dive into the known history, the known told history of uh, pizza in New York City, and then um, Travis has a little something to present for us. I just pizza. said it. Oh. I just got <laughs> <about this. laughs> There it is. I love it. I love it. There it is. Um, and then I guess we'll <gasps> talk about like maybe what one of our favorite current pizza spots are and whatever. And then um, <laughs> you know that would be it for today. But so apparently Lombardi's was uh the is the first uh known pizzeria not only in New York City but also um they claim in America. Uh, because it was founded in 1905. Uh, its first location was on 53rd and a half Spring Street. Um, back then, uh, people were using coal-fired masonry ovens. Uh, it was originally used to bake bread, and bakers use hard coal instead of wood because it was basically more fuel efficient. Uh, it was cheaper and it took up less space. So the reason why this connects is because back in the day, uh, pieces baked in these types of ovens were sold whole. You couldn't get them by the slice uh, back then until Patsy's in East Harlem, uh, which claims that they've been doing this since 1933. But uh, it's also said that whole pie places like Lombardi's would sometimes sell pieces of pizza. Uh, so that's where we get a piece of pizza. Um, they would sometimes sell pieces of pizza if patrons didn't have enough money for the whole uh, pie, but it was mostly commonly known to sell pizzas as a whole pie. Um, and again, because of the type of the oven that they use, um, they cooked at very high temperatures and the pizza would get tough and chewy after it cooled down. So it was best eaten fresh out of the oven, which is that, where that phrase comes from also. Um, it was best eaten fresh out of the oven. So there was no time for slicing and all that other bullshit. Slices really began in the 1940s thanks to a new oven that came around thanks to uh, Frank Maestro, who is an Italian immigrant. Uh, he bought a used coal oven, then installed a gas line in it and began playing around with baking pizza. Uh, by 1934, Maestro had invented the first of the gas-fired pizza ovens that we now see in shops today. And it's so important because it produces pies <laughs> Sorry, I had to wait for the hood to calm down. Um, it produces pies that were fundamentally different from cold oven pizza. So the pizzas, they took longer to bake and they were baking up drier, but that also gave them a longer shelf life because of the water that was cooked out of it. So they're, they were able to be reheated. Um, and pizza by the slice has to be reheated most of the of the time so that oven made a world of difference um and that is our very brief new york boom pizza, got it uh, history and pizza it was <laughs> i got some gossip i got the gossip come on what's fuck, the gossip? Fuck, fuck, forget him fuck, fuck, fuck lombardi Go on. you know nah so <laughs> it got it got popular uh it it got the reason why people think that italians created pizza it was because Back in the day, obviously, pizza was made for, like, it was cheap. So it was obviously served to the poor people because whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, apparently, uh, Italian queen, Queen Margarita, called up her chef. Come on, Queen Margarita. Said, yo. She's like, yo, I want a pizza, B. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how they okay. talk in Italy. <laughs> so then that's how, that's why it's called, like, like the one of the most popular um, pizzas, like Margarita, margarita pizza. pizza. Because right. and because and then also it's the colors of like the ingredients too to represent the Italian flag. That's yeah. that's how uh, how it, it originated and it got popular like that in, in Italy and that's how it got. That's how what happened. 
starting to that's break how, out to the world. Right, because it got popular in Italy. Boom! Hey, that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Hey. All right. But it was the Greek people, the Greeks. And it, and it was flatbread. It's always been flatbread. It came to America. They want to be doing deep dish and shit and deep all this dish, wild shit. Pain, yep. Mm-hmm. It's always That's been facts. flatbread and it's always been re- you know, kind of healthy, I guess, right? Sort of, not really. Whatever. It has. Pizza was supposed to be a healthier option ish. Mm-hmm. But poor mean? people. Now it's like, what, $6 for a slice? What the fuck is who uh, do that? Right, right. We yes, got and then you have meat things. lovers and all that other right. shit. Yep. Yeah, Americans yeah, fuck right. everything up. That's a prime yeah. example. So it's it, it's very interesting. Um, Alex, do you have any? Uh, what's your favorite uh, slice or what's your favorite type of pizza? <laughs> and do you have a favorite spot right now that you? So 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 mm. so first, I want to touch on the fact that you know when 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 you let me know like cool, it's gonna be pizza month. That's what we talking about. That mean places have deals. Ain't nobody trying to sell a cheese slice for less than a dollar. Like that's just not a thing. I looked into it. I mean, I, I wish. let the public know that I tried to find us a slice for 75 cents. They're just not out there. Not happy right? no more. <laughs> two, um, <laughs> two uh, one of my favorite places is Ray's Pizza. It's in the city. Um, it's, it's just really good. It's just really okay. good pizza. I mean, is that 34th other places. Street? Yeah, it is one on 34. You know what I mean? You also have margaritas on the Ave. I mean, that's everyone kind of knows about that one. You know what I'm saying? So so there's some places that are really good. Um, the best pizza I've had, though, I was, I actually don't even know the name. It was a long, it was on Long Beach. And they allow you to make, they allow you to put together your own pizza. Obviously, I'm not cooking it, but I had a pizza. So like you have a different choices of dough. Uh, my pizza had pesto on it instead Ooh. of regular tomato sauce. Like it was Wait, it Long was Beach? Fire. Long Beach, yes. California? No, no. <laughs> Long Beach out here in Long Island. Uh, 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 uh. Right. And oh, it was absolutely <laughs> incredible. Like, it That's just re- reactivizes the way you do pizza. I had pepperoni. I had fresh arugula on the pizza. Like, it was just, I like it, it, it was fancy. It was fancy. So, so that was that was definitely one of my things. Uh, okay. I'll find a name. I'll find the name, and I'll let you guys know. I, 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 I ain't going to Long Beach again. I live in the Bronx, but you could you could bring me a slice home. <laughs> I got you. I got your back. I got your back. That's fly. That's fly. What about you, Charles? What's your I'm, favorite type of slice? Where where you eating uh, at right now? Um, I'm pretty basic. I just like I I love bread. So I'm like, just give me a regular plain cheese pizza. I don't like the toppings like that. Don't add no extra shit. No, but I like I'll add like oregano, garlic powder, a little bit of hot sauce. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I put, I put, oh, hot sauce I put, is different. I put hot sauce. Hot sauce, hot sauce different. I, <laughs> I put hot, well, it's available. It's not that different. It's on the counter. <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, fuck it. Why not? Like, <laughs> yeah. I put hot sauce in. Um, I mean, to me, like. Listen, I had pizza in Chicago, wasn't impressed. Big fucking whoop. I don't like no deep dish. I don't want no souffle or type pizza. I don't want none of that. I don't want no lasagna. I want nice pizza. Yeah. So, like, I keep it funky. I be in the house like, yo, give me oh, two dollar bros, two, two pizza bros, whatever it's called. Uh, two, bro- two, two bros. Two bros pizza. Two bros. It's like a dollar like fifty now, whatever that case to be. Just give me a fucking pizza slice. Just give me. Just, just, hold on. Right. Two, two bros is what? One fifty. It, it went up. It's like one twenty five. One fifty. It went up. Oh, oh, that's outlandish. Right. Oh heavens. heavens <laughs> went up. It went up. It went they up. They playing. Yeah. Um, okay, I love that. Um, I like Travis. I am very basic when it comes to pizza as well. I only do cheese. I mean, like, I can do other things, but my main go-to and my preference yeah. is a plain cheese slice. Um, I have dabbled, and I can also say that, like, the plain cheese... Um, grandma's pizza i also love it as well the the square mm-hmm. pizza um it's just so oh, like sicilian sicilian. The, sicilian the sicilian that's what they okay yeah, yeah. It's like it's something about that slice i maybe like the fluff of it i don't know but like yeah. my mouth is watering right now but <laughs> there's, something, <laughs> there's something about it that it's a spe- it's a special treat every like Three months or whatever that I do get pizza, um, I will die. Three months. Well, you know, like, because I, I don't get it that often, but like, if I do get a grandma slice, it, like, the last grandma slice I got had to be like maybe like six months ago. Like, I don't know, and it's because somebody else ordered it for me. I don't know. Gotcha. I'm a I'm a triangular 
plain cheese type of person. And you're not a square. You're not a square. You're not a square. I'm, I'm not a square. I'm not a square. You're not a square. Okay. But but it's good. It's good. <laughs> um, but I will say right now, my favorite pizza spot right now, and you know, I hope the you know, sorry to all the local pizza spots, or whatever. But that the Wegmans that they just put in Brooklyn in the Brooklyn Navy Yard, those I don't know <laughs> what they are doing. Yo, let's pop in. You, uh, Derek mm-hmm. introduced me into Wegmans. I live in the Bronx. I know what the fuck it was. I was in Wegmans. I we came out with fucking pizza and, 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 and dumplings and, and fucking <laughs> chicken. And it came out with wild shit. We had dinner. We had dinner. And $20 that, there took those, us a long way. Those pizza slices at Wegmans are great. Like, I, it first was of good. All, it was first good. of all, a large pie. A large pie is only $10. Number one. Take my money and take it now. Exactly. And the, <laughs> the slices are big. There's a lot of slices. It's only it was good. And it is so good. Like, I don't know what the crack is in there, but it's so good. Um, it's good. You know, it does throw me off here in New York, you know, because a lot of these pizza shops, you know, they, they, it's the Mexicans making these pizzas. You know, that just throws me off sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 it yes. is. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, they have developed their own industry within the... Which is fine, which is, which is fine, which yeah. is fine, but... Which is fine. No, they, just, but again, they bag. They get they bag. It would, it, would, it would be like walking into Dunkin' Donuts and seeing a black person run it when you know that is a... That is... That is... Yes, that, sir. That, that is, that, yes, sir. <laughs> no, you... Oh, you, that, yes. you know that would be different because we know who run the Dunkin' Donuts is. We know who right. run the Dunkin' that's Donuts is. Okay? That's a di- different episode because, baby, I got some shit to say about that. Look, there it is. Back. There it is. Um, Yo. But yeah, so unfortunately, as you guys who have made it through this episode have already heard, Adeloso was not here with us today, but y'all all also know that Adeloso is queen pizza. She loves her <laughs> favorite spots and whatnot. She loves two boots. I do know that. Um, this, that, and the third. Um, and she's very oh, sad that dang. she couldn't present her information, but she is somewhere stuck in the middle of the woods doing something this weekend. Lord knows what. <laughs> it's unacceptable. This is my second episode since I made since, since I joined y'all, and she hasn't been here. I'm like a substitute teacher in this bitch. She didn't have to come back. But I'm gonna talk about her. it. Talk about it. She playing. Games. She playing. Games. <laughs> it's not the same without her. It's like she she brings a female the 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 extra spice. I'm uh-huh. sure. Uh huh. Yep. 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 Whatever. So, we're going to get on her neck. We're going to get on her neck. But, um, <laughs> Alex, it was such a pleasure yes. to have you join Guys, I really us. enjoyed it. I really enjoyed um, my time. Thank you so much. You will be, y'all, y'all going to hear more from Alex in the future. Like I said, I'm going to try to have him on a couple of other platforms and whatnot. And, you know, we're going to make it do what it do. Um, but you can find us at the New York Dose everywhere, all platforms, the website, the whatever. You can find me at DJSJ614 on Instagram and Twitter, Travis. You could find me everywhere. Just look up Travis Dimitri. Hello. Well, not hello, just, just Travis Dimitri. So Travis Dimitri. <laughs> I was about to say, is that, a, is that an underscore hello? Travis <laughs> Dimitri, period. It, period. Now, I mean, yo, you can find me on everything, everywhere. Alex Rose, A L E X Z R O Z E. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, this episode was produced by the board of the New York Dose, hosted by um, Al Monaco. Thank you very much, Mama, for the Zoom. Um, our audio engineer and editor is me. Uh, photos were captured by us. Uh, shout out to the rest of the New York Dose team Gina, Monique, Teak, Jilu, David, Kwame, Lenny, Samia, Janiel, and Henny Elise. And don't ever forget to stay right? dope. Right, we got the team on deck. <laughs> don't ever forget to stay dope, stay dose, and stay New York. It's the New York Dose, baby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah get it. Yeah, y'all already know. What? What? Uh, uh, I'm here. Fuck out here. Let's go. What's good? Uh, what's good, everybody? What's good? What's good, everybody? What's good? What's good, everybody? What's good? What's good? Ain't you want me why these chickens ain't quiz